Okay, so if you ever have any issues with an iPhone 6 Plus specifically, then you need to check this long flex cable. See how this one's perfectly flat? So sometimes they can bend and they can break very easily. And so, for instance, if I bent this one the wrong way, Okay, I'll show you. It's plugged in. So I get all these lines. Hey, Chuck. Yeah, you can send them out. All right, thank you. Yep, bye. Alright, so as you can see, it's crazy. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this flex connector. I'm going to straighten it out this way. So I'm, I'm not pulling, I'm not like pulling crazy hard, but I am straightening it out. And then you also want to take this one, kind of straighten it out. Okay. Then I pretty much just blew on those connection points. Disconnect the battery every time. Take your uh, digitizer and LCD. And you want this click to be a straight click. You don't want it to go left or right. You want it to be like click. So try and find the exact spot and then click. Okay. So that, that was a nice click right there. Same with this connector. A nice click. Okay. And then, ta-da. It is perfect now. And that's the same thing with the digitizer. Uh, the LCD. Uh, sorry, the digitizer where the touchscreen may not work. You want to make sure that, that that flex cable is perfectly straight. Okay, so we'll go ahead and test this out once it's booted up. But yeah, that's extremely common on these. Um, if you don't check it properly. But yeah, as you can see, this touch works perfect right now. Okay, so home, home. If I were to disconnect it, okay. And let's say this time, even though this flex cable is straight, let's say this time I, instead of pressing it down the middle, let's say I go right to left incorrectly, okay? So let's try and get that in. Okay, so that was a right to left rather than dead center. Okay, as you can see, it is in, okay? I'm not really holding the bottom of it. My pinky's not there. It is in. It's not like it's not connected. And then I'll plug this in. Okay? Let's see what it looks like. Huh? Well, it's still good. Well, okay. Look, my touchscreen doesn't work now. Okay. Oh, and sure enough, lines popped up. Okay? If I push the flex cable in, it might work a little bit better. But, yeah. But as you can see, the touchscreen wasn't working there. So, like I said, you always want to make sure... If your touchscreen's ever not working, if you ever have these blocks or lines or whatever it may be, you disconnect it. One, make sure that this flex cable right now, I, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually a little bit crooked. One, it's completely bent in, right? So I'll take my thumbnail, my fingernail, and I'll hold, hold the two edges. And don't push too hard because you could end up breaking this flex. You want to like just kind of turn it so that it's perfectly straight. Same with this one. Okay, blow here. Make sure your battery is disconnected. And then you want to get the dead center before you push it in. It's not pushed in yet, see? Before you push it in, click. Okay, that was a nice click. Push again in the center. Don't go left or right. Once again, if you're going left or right, it's not going to work. This one, same thing, dead center. And if I did it right, it'll boot up properly. If I didn't, it won't. That won't, okay? So sometimes you'll get that. You gotta make sure it's perfect. And mind you, this is actually an original LCD. This is one we had refurbished. So this had the original IME barcode, original maker code. Um, this was an original LCD, okay? So, oh, okay. See, it's, it's bent. I don't know if it's, if you guys can see that, but it is bent. So I'm going to bend it back, okay, it's 
Same with this one again. This one's less important. All right, and I want to get that nice click. That, that felt like a really good click. Same with that. Hopefully it works this time. Boom. Like I said, I felt that click. That click felt great. If you don't feel that nice solid click, it's not going to work. It just won't. And that's the issue with these 6 Pluses. That long flex is so long that you have to make sure it clicks in there perfectly. Um, obviously, if you do it too many times, you can end up damaging the flex cable because it is a little sensitive component. But once this boots up, we'll test the touch screen out. We'll make sure it's working. And that's pretty much how you troubleshoot these. Okay, look, that touch screen worked perfect. Let's go ahead and cancel out that iCloud. Uh, one second. Okay. Maybe that iCloud thing will pop up again. Okay, well, good. All right. And perfect. All right. There's a little piece of dust there that was kind of messing up the touch. But as you can see, touch is perfect. And it's good. All right. So there you got it. iPhone 6 Plus troubleshooting.